Hey, welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy, and I wanted to come on here today and talk about how I've lost 70 pounds, and I'm gonna have three tips for success that go along with that. So let's go ahead and get right into it. probably just like many people watching this video um, if you've come across this video you may be looking for some way to lose weight or to lead a healthier lifestyle um, I chose to do the starch solution and I had tried to do like so many different things before and they all work temporarily it's not necessarily a lifestyle change and whenever you go back to eating the standard diet um, some most of the time weight comes back on you usually get like all excited and get all of your stuff together for whatever diet it is you're doing and you're relying on your willpower well eventually willpower fades um, and it's unsustainable and you just go back to your old ways society is not set up in order for us to be successful um, and typically on leading a healthy lifestyle convenience foods at grocery stores and all of the different processed foods all of the different restaurants to go out to eat all of the fast food which obviously leads to an unhealthy lifestyle and then you also have like other people that influence you like your family members and your friends and a lot of times they have been raised um, the same way eating like your standard westernized diet and health is not typically the goal it's usually convenience and getting things done so a lot of times that just falls to the wayside um, to the back burner so to speak and so society is just not set up for us to live a healthy lifestyle without intention <music> why the starch solution for me also was so appealing is because the meals were attainable it was simple and I knew I could have carbs so that was something really appealing even though I was a little bit nervous at first about having carbs I quickly lost that fear whenever I started to see results the starch solution was different because it was sustainable, um, I know that whenever I had tried all of those other diets before, I missed my carbs. You know, carbs have been totally demonized, um, you know, by some certain diets out there. And I have to agree that some carbs are not the right type of carbs for our bodies. Obviously, there's a huge difference in a whole food carb versus like an ultra processed carb there it's not an apples to apples comparison you can't say that a whole food like a potato is equivalent to a pop tart or a whole food like brown rice is not equivalent to a donut it's just not the same and the one on this side the donut and the pop tart are the ultra processed and the whole food is obviously just whole food and the difference is the ultra processed foods have been stripped of all of their nutrients and all of their fiber and they are loaded with fat, salt, and sugar. And that is something that your body tends to crave. Um, and whenever you add all three of them in, a, in the same combination, it makes it where your body seeks that out. And it sends like pleasure signals to your brain Whereas whenever you eat just the whole food, you don't get all three of those sugar, fat, and salt in one food. So, I mean, of course, like your pop tarts and your pastries and the, you know, donuts and the chips and all of the ultra highly processed foods are going to taste so good. They are designed to hijack your sense of taste and make you want and crave more of those foods. Whereas the whole food has all of the fiber, all of the nutrients, all of the water still intact. And it doesn't just, it doesn't like light up your brain in the same way. 
So Forks Over Knives has a really good explanation on their website, and it is called How Carbs Became the Super Villain. It is a article that they have up there, and I will link that in the description box so that you can read it for yourself. It's a really good article that pretty much goes over why a whole food and an ultra processed food are like completely different and how much better this one is for you and why we crave these um, ultra processed foods. My three tips for success on a whole food plant-based diet specifically the starch solution is what I have been following is number one have a good mindset and in within that topic I want to talk about a few different things so whenever you set out to start a lifestyle change because the start solution to me is more than just a diet it is a lifestyle and you want to have the right mindset going into it so whenever I started the start solution I defined my why so we had a bunch of different reasons as to why we were going to do a whole food plant-based diet and one of my whys was specifically for weight loss and health everybody has a different why I mean maybe you want to lose weight maybe you want to feel good in the clothes that you're wearing maybe you can visualize yourself playing with your kids maybe that's not something that you can easily do I mean there's so many different reasons why but as long as you define your why then it gives you some motivation and momentum to move forward and it sets you up and puts you in the right frame of mind um, whenever you start this lifestyle change and then every time that you feel like you know it's so hard it's a big change coming from like maybe the standard American diet to a whole food plant-based diet then you can always look back to your why especially like if you like write it down in a book or on a you know sticky note and put it in your mirror and you have a hard day and you really want to continue on your way but you just don't know how you're gonna do it if you always stop and think about why you started to begin with then a lot of times it's enough to give you the motivation to keep pressing forward another thing about um, it being like a mindset thing is that I like to think about whenever I'm pursuing this lifestyle that it is self-care because I'm taking care of myself and showing my body love and gratitude by feeding it the foods that it needs and wants um, in order to do all the processes that it needs to do to get me through daily life and in the end I end up reaping the rewards because I have energy that is through the roof I'm losing weight I feel great I'm not weighed down by my food choices literally you know I get that full feeling from eating a whole food plant-based diet but I'm never overstuffed and I feel like you know it just gives me a lot to um, look forward to and I know that I am treating my body the way that it deserves to be treated everyone has their own story as to why they're doing this and for me personally I used to say really mean things to myself and it was um, sort of just something that was going on in my mind and I didn't even realize it until I started kind of thinking about all of these things whenever I was following the starch solution I would you know say just such ugly things to myself and then I started replacing those thoughts and started telling myself the opposite of what I was saying so I mean you could say I'm so horrible I you know don't deserve X Y and Z and then as soon as you recognize that you tell yourself you know that you're working on making yourself better you're trying to make yourself healthier and you are worth all of this effort and you deserve to treat yourself right and I know it seems like a really weird thing to do but as soon as you start thinking something negative you might even say out loud stop and then say the opposite to yourself um, and do it as many times as it takes and you actually might be surprised because I know I was at how many times you have thoughts like that throughout the day it doesn't matter what the thought is it may not have anything to do with your weight it may have something to do with if you think that you aren't smart enough you're not good enough you're not pretty enough you're not whatever stop that thought literally say stop and replace it with something positive 
and the exact opposite. And before you know it, you're going to be treating yourself a whole lot better. I would never tell someone some of the things that I said to myself. And if I would not tell somebody those things that I was saying to myself, I surely don't deserve to be telling myself those things either. So that is what I like to call reframing your mindset. So to kind of recap all of that again, know your why, know that it is self care whenever you are treating yourself right and replace negative thoughts and reframe what you're saying with positive thoughts. And that will go a long way to help motivate you to continue your healthy lifestyle. Okay, tip number two, and this is a really big tip. Um, whenever you go into your lifestyle, you need to have things that are available at your fingertips that are going to support what you're doing. So I like to say that you need to master your environment. So you need to make sure that you have, you know, things that are ready to go, like your rice and your potatoes and all of that kind of stuff. And I know that I've talked about my prep starches with me video, but again, it is something that I do that helps me stay on track. I make sure that I have, you know, canned beans and I have frozen potatoes and I have regular potatoes and I have all the different foods, you know, the whole grain rice, um, all that kind of stuff, just ready to go on hand. I have snacks on hand. I keep fruit and I plan ahead. So mastering your environment is a huge deal. For me, that looked like getting rid of all of the things that did not support a lifestyle for the starch solution um, and replacing it all with starch solution approved foods and things that I knew that I was going to be eating on this lifestyle. You have someone else that lives in your house with you that doesn't eat the starch solution, then you should definitely carve out your own section in your refrigerator and your pantry and make sure that if you have some kind of food that they enjoy, um, that is something that you really love, that they hide that or put that in some way. Uh, put that up somewhere where you don't have to look at it every time that you go and get um, some food out of the refrigerator or the pantry. So I would do everything that I could to prepare my environment to make sure that it set me up for success. Okay, and the last tip that I have is preparation and if you are hungry, eat. So like I said, preparation kind of like is a bridge between mastering your environment and making sure that you eat whenever you're hungry. If you don't have things prepped and ready to go, it makes it so much harder. You want to make it as convenient on yourself as possible. We already talked about how society is not set up for us to live a sustainably healthy lifestyle. So you want to gift yourself that by making sure that you prep what you need ahead of time. But if that means steaming some potatoes so that you can grab one out of the refrigerator and have that as a snack or having fruit on hand then please do that knowing what to eat um, on the starch solution this book right here is really really helpful um, I highly recommend getting this book and reading it from front to back and it tells you everything that you need to know in order to uh, begin a starch based diet um, but you want to eat basically like 70% starches, 20% vegetables, and 10% fruit. And there's going to be a little bit of nuts, seeds, and avocados, but just in small amounts while you're trying to lose weight. And you want to eat things like white potatoes and sweet potatoes, brown rice, whole wheat pasta, oatmeal, barley, legumes, beans, and corn. And you want to eat them in the way that nature packaged them. So in other words, you want to eat them as whole as possible. So you want to, you know, just cook them. You just want to get like dried beans and cook them, you know, or potatoes and cook them. So whenever you eat a potato versus a potato chip, that is highly processed and potato is the way that nature packaged it. You're going to eat some non-starchy vegetables as well. It's going to be a 50-50 plate typically. And so you're going to have like, you know, like your mushrooms, your green beans, your spinach, your salad greens, your cooked greens, um, broccoli, all of those kinds of things. So these are basically the things that I did to help me lose 70 pounds. And I wanted to share that with all of you because I still get a lot of questions about 
um, you know, what I did, what I eat. Um, and I really think that all of those three things are super important. Your mindset, your environment, and making sure to be prepared and eat when you're hungry. So I hope this was helpful in some way. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. And please leave me some comments below and let me know what you think about this video, um, what you would like to see coming up. And as always, thank you so much for watching.